has a orange PB, that stands for product bag. And if you didn't know it already, this bag is not a toy. And then on the back of the bag, it has the iconic off-white diagonal stripes in white, as well as some typical off-white branding and the barcode of the hoodie. The hoodie also comes with the typical off-white hang tag. Now that the packaging's out of the way, time to get to the hoodie itself. Starting off with the material of the hoodie, it's a full cotton hoodie and it has a really nice weight to it. It's not like super thin or really cheap feeling. It's a really nice quality hoodie. The material on it's really nice. And then the inside of it is like a fleece material, which most hoodies are like that anyway. Now going over some of the details of the hoodie, starting at the top, has a really nice big hood. So you'll see that once I try it on. Has a little blue A, which I I don't know what that's for, but it's there, so that's what that is. And then also on the front of the hoodie, it says Off-White TM, Fall Winter, and then it has the year right under it. And then moving on to the drawstrings, one of them says Off-White and then Virgil Abloh, and then the other one says Shoelaces, like the Nike shoes do. And then a cool little detail of these drawstrings is they're both dipped in wax, so that's a nice little detail. Most hoodies don't have that, so I think that's a cool little touch. It just makes it so that way you can't like easily break the aglet on the drawstring. So I, I just think that's a really nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but just adds like a little bit of quality, you know? Also on the front of the hoodie, it has the typical hoodie pocket, which it's pretty big. It's not like super small or anything. And then going to the back of the hoodie, that's where the main graphic is. And the hoodie I have is the unfinished hoodie. That's what the actual hoodie is called just because the graphics like the typical off-white arrows but it's just like unfinished there's like some of the areas where the line isn't there like there's no line right here and then i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but one of the arrows is missing that's just why it's called the unfinished hoodie and the graphic isn't too noticeable so if you don't want people to know that you have an off-white hoodie but you still want one this may be a good option for you just because the graphic is pretty subtle you can still kind of tell it's an off-white hoodie but it's not like a blaring off-white hoodie where the back graphic you can just easily tell so nice little subtle piece and then moving on to the sleeves of the hoodie it does have that common off-white theme where the dash lines go all the way down the sleeve but this one does have the unfinished pattern just like the back graphic where some of the lines are missing so i think that's really cool and then there's also some wording on each of the sleeves as well just some more off-white branding and to finish off the details of the hoodie it does have a tag on the collar so that's what that looks like it just has the typical off-white branding and then it says main label that wraps up the detailed look of this off-white hoodie now i'm going to throw it on give you my overall thoughts on it whether i think it's worth it or not so let's get right into it Here's what the off-white hoodie looks like while wearing it. Overall, I think this is a really nice piece and it fits me really well. So I'll just do like a quick 360 so you can get a full look at it. Front, as you can tell, really plain, just has that little off-white branding right here. And then the sleeves have that unfinished print. And then as you saw in the back, it also has that unfinished print. And then the hood on this hoodie is huge. So here's what it looks like. Covers up pretty much your whole face almost. So that could be pro or con if you want like a hood that big, but I, I'll never use the hood, so it doesn't really matter to me. Now on to sizing of this hoodie. I went a full size up on this, so I got a double XL instead of my normal extra large size. And I did that because I wanted to fit a certain way. I wanted the sleeves to be a little bit longer than my arms just because I didn't want them to be short sleeves or anything. So I got hoodie with longer sleeves and then it also fits a little bit longer in the torso and a little bit looser that's just how i wanted to fit i didn't want it to be like a tight hoodie i wanted it to be kind of oversized but not like super oversized if you know what i'm saying so that's why i got that size and just for off-white hoodies in general you're gonna have to go by measurements it's really hard to go by just like the tag size just because they're all made differently that's what i did for this hoodie i went by measurements on essence and if you don't know what that is it's a website that sells all the designer clothes and they sell off-white as well so what you do is you go to that website, you find the hoodie you want, and then there's a link that says sizing and measurements, and you click that, and it just shows all the measurements for every single size that they have in inches or centimeters, depending on where you live. So that's really helpful, really nice, easy way to find your size. So you don't really wanna go by just the tag size, you definitely wanna go by measurements. So just measure clothes you already have and just find ones that fit the way you want them to and just find the measurements of those and just use that and compare them to the measurements on the site. That's what I did, it's a really easy way and you'll be able to find the hoodie